Uh, hey guys, uh, would y'all benefit from uh, watching me work through this as well? That's the next thing, is y'all running into all kinds of problems and uh, difficulties. Uh, how about you guys observe on the catwalk? Do y'all want me to do Index. All right, so that's how I roll. I think it's real helpful to be thinking of all this room clearing stuff in terms of ambushes and counter ambushes. That's what it is. And so when I walk into a room with a barricaded subject and I have to open a door, everyone in that room knows exactly where I am. Uh, and that's problematic. I have no element of surprise and they know exactly where I am, which means I have two options. One is open the door and hell on wheels, make entry entry dynamic entry and if they're not ready for me i could take out a couple people really really quick just point of domination sector of fire traditional room clearing theory and dynamic entry the problem is is if they have any inclination that i may be coming through at all they have any heightened readiness one man going dynamic that's quite a bit of that could really end badly for me so yeah. Yeah, guns are violence in the distance, and we should always be trying to make as much space as possible in a one-man element. Now, this is problematic in a team environment. If you start moving like this in a team environment, I'm moving, I'm like in the center of the room sometimes. That's a big no-no with uh, room clearing tactics for a team. So I can get away with like, once I own the real estate, there's no reason why I can't walk into the center of a room that I already own. In a team, you don't do that. You stick to your points of domination and sectors.